Hello, Internet. Praise be to God. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and welcome back to Harvest Moon 64. I'm recording this the day after Christmas. My Christmas was awesome. Hope everybody who's watching also had a great Christmas as well. Or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or whatever you decide to celebrate. Anyhow, we're finally in autumn, which means our baby will be born pretty soon. <sighs> I'm excited. Hopefully things will pick up in autumn. Yoo-hoo, brother! What up? Hey, brother, the cow festival's on the 4th. You're going to enter, aren't you? I think that one's good. Creamia would win for sure. Really? Creamia? Not Mary Moo Cow, who's my oldest cow of the highest affection? Okay. I think at that point it means that all of my cows are maxed out, so he just won with the most recent one that I had. I should probably put my cows out in the pasture then. I'm gonna need to do that for the cow festival. Well, shoot! I cut all my grass inside the pasture, so, uh... I'm not sure if I can let my cows out to the pasture. If I have fully grown grass outside the pasture, but it's still outside, will the cows be able to eat it? I do wonder. Everyone's outside and everyone is going into the pasture. Why did you start moving that way? I barely touched you that way. They're like, oh, you want me to go the wrong way? Yes, please. And then it's like, I want you to go this way. This is the real way, the way I want you to go. Uh, do I have to? Let me just sit here for five seconds before I do that. Alright. Well, we'll see if they can eat that. I need to bring my cows out to the pasture because you need them in the pasture in order for them to get the photo for the cow festival. Now let's go some fishing. Let's go some fishing. Yep. Ooh, no, we can't have that. No rain. Yeah, that's better. I don't want it to rain when I just put my cows out to the pasture. That would be terrible. Hey. Hey, the cow festival's tomorrow. Why don't you enter your cow? We don't have enough entries as it is. Enter. Which cow are you going to enter in the cow festival tomorrow? Select one. Um... To beef, huh? Are you sure that's the best choice? Uh, no. No? Then which one? Maria, huh? Are you sure that's the best choice? No. Okay, they are able to eat it. Yeah, Mary Moo Cow. Okay, I'll keep it until tomorrow. Oh, alright. But be sure to come tomorrow. The cow won't behave without its owner. Now is the season to eat good food. Don't eat too much. It's for me, Ellie. Aw, oh, sweet girl. Yeah, so we just entered our cow into cow festival. Of course we're going to win. Hey, what can I say? Life itself hasn't changed much, but I feel something fresh. Like a sunny spot in the spring. Why is he right next to the tent? Ah, the autumn, the tastes, the appetites of fall. Oh, I'm glad to see they're in such good moods. I have never seen the bakery master be right outside the fisherman's tent before. That is interesting. Hey guys, what's up here? Wine is a living fiend. Like humans and animals, everything on Earth is alive. Um, sure. Kai has worked so hard since we got married. Oh, that's good. Yay, nice weather tomorrow. I created up the eggs. I feel a little better after talking with my mom. That's good. Well, honey, we get to enjoy a festival filled with cows today, so that'll be cool, right? Getting ready for the horse race, little horsey? The moon is so beautiful on top of Moon Mountain, poppery. I like how they send you those little messages at the start of the season. It's really nice. I wanted to do something special with this wool, so we're going to save that and give it to Anne on a later date to see how she reacts, because she really likes wool. <laughs> W-O-L, wool. There we go. Alright. Now on to the cow festival. 
We're gonna win this year. Hi, Artie! So you came! The milk here is fresh from the morning. You be a taste judge. Mmm, the milk is all fresh and great tasting. Tough decision. Vote for me. Wow, that tastes delicious! I know, that's my milk, that's why. I thought people would want to raise cows if we had this festival. Well, I'm a farmer, that had nothing to do with you. Ooh, that's good! This milk's the best. Clearly, that's mine. Hello, I'm the gourmet! Ultra Beyond! Nice smell, sweet! Mmm, this one's the best! That's obviously mine. I'm checking out the milk. Let's see now, how's the casing? Mm. Cows raised lovingly have gentle faces. That's how that works. Gee, I hope I can enter a cow soon for everyone to look at. Well, you're gonna need a barn first. Well, for me, I'm not a milk drinker. I'll just choose a cute-looking cow. My the cutest. Oh, hi there! I don't know much about the taste of milk because I don't drink it so much. Vote for me. Good job. Vote for me. Hello, your cow's milk tastes good. We mix together all the milk when we sell it, so I didn't know yours tasted so good. Vote for me. Hmm, they are all nice cows. Vote for me. Hmm, all these cows are good. They're calm and quiet like humans, and they have gentle faces like mine. Vote for me. When I look closely at cows, I can feel I feel I can tell which ones are loved. Like mine, vote for me. I'm checking the coat. You can tell if they're brushed with, brushed with love. I brush mine every day. Vote for me. 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 Vote for Nader. Now we'll announce the results. The winner is the cow from the color farm! Congratulations! You can just say, Mary, Artie's cow. Second place goes to the cow from the green ranch. It was really close. In your face! Third place goes to the cow from the Bud Village farm. Everyone put your hands together. What the heck is Bud Village? Today was a good day, and I'm going to have a good sleep. I didn't feed my chickens. I'm such an idiot. I feel a little better after talking with my mom. I am a dummy. I even went into the chicken coop to drop everything in and I didn't feed them. Because for some reason I assumed that my wife fed them. Which is ridiculous because Maria can't ever feed the chickens. Oh boy. I am stupid. <laughs> I am a dummy. I am a doofus. I am so sorry chickens. <laughs> I owe you an apology. Hey! I've come to say goodbye. I'm heading south. See you again next spring. Take care. Bye, Basil. Until we meet again. No mail today. Alright, I want to see if I get another, uh... Visitor. Yes! This is what I was hoping for. Oh, look! That's the cow that won at the festival! It's so cute! Excuse me, can we take a photo with you? Yes. Oh, that's so cool! Thank you very much! We'll send you a copy of the picture. Thank you. Hope Maria doesn't didn't see that. <laughs> She's like, Artie, why were you taking photos with girls? I'm like, well, sweetie, I know they're teenage girls. But they asked me! I didn't ask them! They wanted a photo of my cow, and they also wanted me in it at the same time, which was weird. And that's why I had to keep my cows out in the pasture, because if you don't, they don't stop by and they don't ask for a picture with you and your cow. Sorry, chickens! Sorry, Chica. Sorry, Big Red. I can't remember all your other names. I'm sorry. Okay, this is gonna be tough. So keeping everybody on screen is important, so that way we keep their attention span. So everybody go in- no, everybody go in. And this is why I don't like putting my cows out in the pasture, because it takes them for- it takes you forever to put them back in. You get over here, you are not allowed to be out here. You're just lucky I have no other farm work I need to do, because I've basically given up as a farmer. Not given up, retired, because I have enough to retire in style. 200,000 is pretty good. In this game. That's not enough in real life. So something that kind of cool that happens. So, Mary's the one who won the cow festival. You win the cow festival? 
And the cow starts giving golden milk. Which you can sell for even more than large milk. Something that I've always wondered, once you've grown grass on your farm, is there any way to get rid of it? Because if not, you could just totally screw yourself up in the game. Like, I mean, it would be possible to remedy it, but... Ooh, you'd have to forge a lot of stuff in order to get a greenhouse. <laughs> if you couldn't grow crops on your farm because it was completely covered in grass, that would be terrible. Then again, grass is also super expensive, so... Hey! Oh, never mind, hang on. Who is it? Oh, it's you! Hey! Congratulations on your victory! I've come to celebrate! Let's have a drink! Oh, okay! Good! That's how a man should act! Afterward, everybody will come! Oh, that's nice. Party continued until midnight. I hope my wife doesn't mind that. That would be bad if they, she didn't. Or if she did. Ooh, that's... That could be problematic, Ooh. I feel a little better. Okay. Still feel good, honey. That's all. That's wonderful. And I didn't get to show off a funny glitch. But that's cool, because now I can show it off once I give my wife her cabbage. Hello, we'll send you photos. Hope to visit you again from Free Pretty Ladies. <laughs> Alright, well, that's the photo. Let's check it out. Oh good, Maria's not here to see. With a sightseer. <laughs> so that's the Cow Festival photo. Looks nice. Just, I believe, three photos left. Dog race, horse race, and then party photo at the end. Time to give some gifts. Let's start a green ranch, shall we? And we have some wool for you. Oh, for me? Really? Thank you! I'm very happy! I can't ride the horse for a while because of the pregnancy. No, not the horse! Me! Jeez, I told you this last time, you idiot! You know, I've never had any contact with babies. Yeah, I, I'm weird around babies. Like, I don't really know what to do. I wonder if this guy likes me now because I won the cow festival. Wow, well, to tell you the truth, I didn't expect you to win the cow festival. Of course, I was the main judge, so I rigged the votes for you. Vote for me. Oh boy, today's the day. Today's the day uh, the baby arrives, I guess. Hey, get out of the way! Go outside! It's gonna take some time, until around 3 p.m. Okay, this is my house. Please stop ordering me around. Uh, uh, it'll be okay, honey. Okay, she seems calm enough. Wow. Oh, hey, and the robot's here for us. Don't worry, she's going to be okay. Go ahead and go back to work. Alright, I won't give her the robot voice. This is a touching moment. Well, alright. <laughs> Exciting day. Oh my gosh. My wife still crated up the eggs, even though she's in labor. What the heck? Best wife ever. Like, seriously, like, how do you even do that? <laughs> so here's the thing about the day your baby comes. This guy is here and won't let you leave. Hey, hey, don't go off today! Stay with your wife, and I'll take care of the shipping. Well, thanks, dude, but I kind of want to go exploring, so what you can do is a little glitch here. Line up two pegs like this, jump down, and okay. Gotta line this up just right. Come on. Okay, I'm not crazy. There is a way to do this. You can jump down and then jump down into the abyss. There we go! That took a long time. There, you can wander down into the abyss down here and then... <laughs> Eat it! Look, I gotta get food for my dog, okay? Jeez. Hey, Stu! <laughs> you know, there's a medicine plant growing in the cave. It helps a little when you're tired. Oh, don't mind me, just gonna go fishing on this peaceful day. <laughs> Ah, 
Ah, nothing like fishing, am I right? I am such a terrible person. Again, would never actually do this in real life. I'm also going to make a temporary save state pretty soon. Okay. Made a temporary save state, because I'm going to show off something that I've heard you can do, which is horrible. Where if you wait too long, your wife will give birth without you there and will name the baby and be really mad at you for not being there. <laughs> I want to see if it's true. <laughs> I'm obviously not going to save it that that happens. Darn it. Hey, dude. I think you have to wait till, like, midnight, maybe? Gonna make a secondary temporary save state here. Because you have to wait past 6. It might be at 9, it might be at 12. Can't remember which... Hey, dude! Get another temporary safe state. It's midnight, so... <laughs> yep! <laughs> oh, I am so terrible! <laughs> well... <laughs> oh. I flat out can't go to bed. Because they're taking up the bed. Oh, no. I'm just going to have to wait it out till 6 a.m. <laughs> I'm literally just gonna have to wait, stay up the entire night, and then it'll warp me back into my uh, house, cause it, and I'll get no sleep. This is gonna be great. <laughs> I am so terrible. <laughs> but this is also incredibly entertaining. Hopefully. <laughs> Here I was complaining about how boring this Let's Play was getting, and then we get stuff like this. <laughs> who's who's ever stayed up this late? I've never stayed up the whole night in Harvest Moon, actually. Oh, horse, are you trying to get some sleep? No, we're gonna beatbox. I'm just sitting on my horse for the entire night. This is great. This is great! <laughs> This is wonderful. <laughs> yep. There we go. <laughs> Hi, honey. Oh, she's not mad at me. Wow, okay. What's the baby's name? Laya. <laughs> she even names the baby. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to keep it this way, obviously. This is why I made the first temporary save state, but alright, so that's what happens. If you wait till midnight, then that happens. Don't do that. Come back at free. Which is what I'm doing. And hey, it's three o'clock now, so... Push harder! I'm not. I'm gonna not do the whole giving birth sounds. I think that'll be beneficial for everybody. Push more. Push harder, harder. A little bit more. Push again. It's a cute little boy. Let's go tell your grandpa about you. Aw. It's always such a wonderful feeling to be present at the moment of birth. Hi, honey. Honey, how is our baby? Please give him a name. Enter your children's name. I only have one child. Thank you very much. Well, my, my, my wife apparently likes the name Laya. I'll do that. Is the name okay? Yes, I guess. It's a wonderful name. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I think that is the rarest Maria sprite right there. Good night. That's much more sweet, isn't it? Oh, I didn't check to see if I got the baby photo if you uh, don't come back. Aw, <laughs> oh, dang it. I bet you wouldn't. 
Oh, what should I do? The baby is drinking milk less than usual. It's day one! There's no usual to go off of, honey. They say you shouldn't read or watch TV after childbirth. It's sad that I can't read books. Okay, I understand... Actually, I don't really understand TV. Like, what's wrong? They say you can understand babies by the way they cry, but I can't figure it out. What should I do? Ah, uh, that's a hard question. I can't help you there. Hi, Laya. Welcome to the world, honey. Honey, don't drop him. I'm not! I physically can't. I'm trying to drop him, and I can't. Game overrides that. <laughs> and thank goodness for that. So yeah, this is our baby. Baby boy sleeps in the baby bed. It's important to basically just to pick him up every day. Right now he's still in the infant stage. Eventually he'll be crawling around and then I think you might be able to give him stuff? Maybe you can't give him stuff until... Later. I don't know. Eventually you can give him stuff and you want to give him cake because that boosts his affection more than anything else. Hey, honey! Bam. <laughs> Don't wash this, Maria! <laughs> Sorry, I have to hear the weather. Actually, I really don't. Alright! We have a son now. It's the, se it's the harvest season! Karen, we'll send you a souvenir picture and look forward to your actions in the future. Who is taking photos? I did not invite the cameraman to the berth. That would be weird. Well, honey, we got a photo of us and the baby somehow. Don't know how. <laughs> After the baby was born. Aww. First family photo. Adorable. Three photos left. We'll get... I hope we'll get one of them in the fall. We'll get one in the winter and then one in the summer. Oh, wait. I already whistled for you. <laughs> One thing I feel like I should mention, uh, so in one of my previous playthroughs, I married Ellie as soon as I got, like, Anne's picture, I proposed to her. We got married in win uh, early winter. If you do that, Ellie will give birth on her birthday, which means I'm not really sure, like, what happens, because generally, you've, like, when you're married, you'll your wife and you will celebrate... Uh, special occasions like her birthday, your birthday, your kid's birthday, and your anniversary. I'm not sure what would happen if you're like, yeah, it's like uh, our kid's birthday. And she's like, no, it's my birthday. Or if you did it, like, it's our kid's birthday. And she's like, no, it's or like, your kid's your birthday. It's like, no, it's our kid's birthday. Uh, it was kind of weird that she had the same birthday as our kid. And the game just happened to work out like that. Just an interesting little piece of trivia for you. Alright, now that I've had my kid, I wonder if anybody else is having kids. Move it, birds. Yes, Anne, I know you're pregnant. You've told me that, like, three times. Oh, it's a good thing I checked my chicken feed supply. I was finally starting to run low. In other news, I've been watching... I finally got around to start watching Stranger Things on Netflix, because, like, every single one of my friends was like, Oh, you gotta watch it! Must say, I'm, I'm liking it more than I thought. I especially like the twist where it's revealed Steve is actually a vampire. I did not see that coming. That was pretty awesome. I'm not going to bake cakes for a while. Okay. What's gonna happen to the bakery, then? So, I, um... Uh, well, fact is, uh, pregnant. No, not me, Ellie, of course. Okay, that makes more sense. I was wondering when that happened. That's cool. I'll show my baby around town eventually. But now is not the time. I mean, the baby was just born hours ago. So, probably need to let him build up an immune system and stuff. Man, they, they need to get on it. The two, okay, the two couples that got married first are the slowest to have kids. Nothing wrong with that, of course. 
but it's just interesting. I'm sorry, I gotta get my fish on. It's one of the last evaluations I need to complete. And also, apparently, to get the party photo, your kid's affection has to be, like, maxed out. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that. I'm not sure if you physically can do that. I know there are a couple of events that boost your kid's affection before it's even born, like helping build the hot springs, helping build the bridge to Moon Mountain, stuff like that. Hey, honey! The moon is very beautiful tonight. Why don't we go view it from the mountain? Uh, I would love to go. I guess I'm not feeding my dog tonight. Sure. Then let's go. Are we just going to leave the baby behind? No, we're not. Okay, that's good. And <laughs> it's still playing the music, even though it's like this. It's really beautiful, isn't it? I'm glad we came. Do we at least get to see the moon? No, we don't. Maybe I'll put in an image of a full moon in here. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. Honey, you don't have to work for me. I mean, come on. Baby should be number one priority. Hi, Laya. Leah. That's more like a girl's name than a boy's name. I'm sorry, son. But your mother gave you that name, and I thought it would be cool to... honor her on that. Oh, boy. Well, luckily, he won't be teased by that, because there are no other kids around that are his age. There will be, eventually. But he'll be the oldest out of all of them, so... Ship that. Dog, your mushroom food comes... Oh, for crying out loud. Harvest Festival will be held on the 12th day of fall. Rejoice in the blessings of the earth. And who will be next year's king? Will it be Artie who will rig it again in his favor? No, that took too long. My wife is a gem. She crates up the eggs every morning. Never mind the fact that she just gave birth. It's like, nope, not holding her back. We owe you a lot. Thanks. Please drop by to see us. Ah, oh, Karen's really warmed up. Compare Karen now to the way she was earlier on in the game? There's no comparison. Ah, oh, the bakery's closed. I can't just buy a cake to give it to people. Oh, I could get the full boon berry today. Yeah! Ooh. Poison mushroom. I could hand this out to people to see their reactions. They might react much more negatively to that than they did to the fodder. Maybe I'll do that in the next episode. Alright, I've got this for my dog. I'm gonna ship the fish and the full moon berry. The other two I will save for later. Are you cooking while carrying the baby? Also, that is some impressive force powers you have there. <laughs> you, you have your arms outstretched, but you are not touching the baby, so clearly you're using the force. Welcome home, honey. Smooch. Hey, honey, I'm gonna put something in our fridge. Please don't cook anything with it. I know it's edible, but it will not be good. I think at this point Maria doesn't go to bed until 9 now, as opposed to, like, 8.30 or 8, like she did previously. Just because 9 o'clock is now the baby's bedtime. Oh, He is so cute. Be quiet. The baby has finally fallen asleep. I won't but disturb him, don't worry. That's going to do it for this episode of Harvest Moon 64. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. We'll be playing some more fall, going to the Harvest Festival, giving Got some grapes, picking more full moon berries, befriending more of the husbands in town. You know, typical guy stuff. See you later. Have a great day, and God bless.